Good morning. Welcome back to the Retirement Report. I'm Hank Parrott, your host. I've been talking and going to be talking more about the four stages of retirement and how tax planning changes over that time, as does financial planning, of course. We're going to incorporate all that in uh, as we've been uh, talking about it before the break. But before we get into that, for the first 10 callers to my office this morning, if you would like comprehensive planning done for you uh, personally, for your personal situation, I'm hoping these tips are going to help you this morning in your planning, but also to help you recognize some areas maybe where you need to get some help, whether it's for you know tax planning, uh, whether it's for financial planning, uh, your investment, whatever it may be, uh, we're, we're hoping this is going to help you get that, but also get the help that you might need as well. And I'm going to help you with that with this special offer. First 10 callers, if you'd like a free retirement income analysis, a comprehensive plan showing you your financial future based on the things you're doing today and how you can then improve those. So I can show you what your financial future is five years, 10 years, 15, 20, 25, 30 years down the road, where you, whether there's any risk of you running out of money, uh, having to reduce your lifestyle, all those kind of things we can show you and show you strategies, share with you ways that you can improve that situation to be able to attain and maintain the standard living and quality of life that you desire in retirement. So again, first 10 callers, 615-376-5325. There's a the number on your screen. Uh, Tess standing by. She'll get your information. She will send you out a checklist of things to bring to your appointment with me. And when you come in to see me, I'll give you a free copy of my book, Seven Steps to Financial Freedom and Retirement. And in that book, I cover a lot of the things we're going to do for you in the planning. The first couple of chapters talk about the planning process, where we gather up the information as to what you have for income, expenses, what those are going to be both uh, pre-retirement and in retirement, as well as assets and liabilities. So planning stages, whether you're in a pre-retirement age, 50 to 60, whether you're in early retirement years, 60 to 70, mid-retirement, 70 to 80, or even 80 plus, these planning strategies can help you get more out of your money and make sure that your money is going to last at least as long as you do, that you'll never have to worry about running out of money, that you'll be able to have again that lifestyle that you desire and some fun money to enjoy life with. So the third chapter, by the way, gets into IRA mastery. A lot of things we're going to cover this morning in, this, in the process of comprehensive planning are covered in the book there. So I hope um, to see you soon. All right, now, here's the problem. When it comes to retirement, all right, in tax planning, the, the different stages as we talk about, well, one of them is that in retirement, people pay more taxes. So this is a, this is a serious problem that if you don't understand how this works and how the system works, you're gonna end up paying more in tax than you otherwise have to. So uh, we'll get back to the slides here. People often pay more taxes in retirement than expected, all right? And this is because there's a confusing, we have a confusing tax system. It treats different incomes differently as far as your, uh, as far as taxes go. So for instance, uh, you know, we talk about capital gains tax rates. Uh, there are certain hidden taxes and penalties that can get triggered, such as with social security and alternative minimum tax and other such things and penalties. Penalties for early taking money early out of uh, retirement and penalties if you wait and don't take money when you're supposed to. So in other words, if you take money out of a retirement account prior to age 59 and a half, there's a 10% tax penalty. And if you wait and don't take your uh, required minimum distribution at 70 and a half, there is a 50% uh, tax penalty. So when it comes in, and this is where a lot of times, again, people don't understand. So when I'm meeting and showing different strategies, uh, just yesterday, again, I had a client, we were talking about net unrealized appreciation. This has to do if you own com company stock in your 401k, uh, there are ways that you can reduce the tax on your uh, distributions uh, based on what's called net unrealized appreciation in UA. Now, if you don't, if you're not familiar with that, this is an important, uh, it's a co an important concept and tax rule to understand because it can be the difference between paying anywhere from say 15 to 35 percent or 37 percent even tax on uh, on distributions from your retirement accounts, uh, where that money could in fact be zero tax on certain company stocks. So understanding how this works is so important. Uh, other is, uh, again, people pay more taxes. That's one example. The other is understanding Social Security. So you take money out and uh, of your retirement accounts, and depending on other income sources and your total income, you can create very easily, in fact, taxation of Social Security benefits. 
understanding how that works, all of this is about taking it, having an income plan in retirement that's going to help you be more tax efficient. In other words, if you, with a little planning, all right, you can take this problem and turning it into a solution. And that's what we want to do. The challenge, again, because you need to have more informed decision, tax implications of tapping different accounts can be costly. So if you've got Roth IRAs, traditional IRAs, and cash accounts, we can balance those out to minimize your tax rate and keep more of the money in your pocket. Your tax exposure is going to change, as it says here on the slide, throughout four stages of retirement. And having a strategy that is going to meet uh, the, those needs, all right, both for traditional and possible tax surcharges, penalties related to Social Security, Medicare, and other income, which we're going to get into in more detail. It's going to, as these things change, if you don't see, if you don't understand through those different stages how to, in fact, adapt and adjust your planning as well, then again, it's, it could cause you to not only run out of money uh, later in life or, or even have to cut way back. Imagine that, right? You've got, this is the income, say, that you're, you know, for your lifestyle that we've set up, an income plan. And for my clients, this is what we do. We make sure that our strategies employed are going to uh, maintain their standard of living quality of life, that that income that they're going to need from their accounts is not only going to pre provide the income they need in the early years, but it's also going to adjust for inflations and it's going to uh, take into consideration taxes. And by minimizing taxes, that helps us make sure those monies last longer. The other part, of course, a good investment plan and minimi minimizing taxes on investments and IRA distributions or 401k distributions are another part of that. So the, big, the first step is to develop an understanding of the types of taxes, all right? So by taxes, we're talking about the cost that can increase as your income does, including things we talked about, capital gains taxes, ordinary income taxes, understanding the difference with those, and um, you know, also understanding the retirement expenses you're going to face, um, needing to create a strategy that will help you decide which assets to tap first, which accounts, cash accounts, retirement accounts, uh, your traditional IRAs, Roth IRAs, all of that together. And then getting that rate, getting this right is going to help you maintain uh, your income and minimize, and again, over the years, can increase it uh, with inflation as well. So again, the fourth fork, the, we've gone over the stages, right? 50 to 60, that's your early retirement, or pre-retirement years, rather. Your work and save years, if you will. The go-go years, when you're now retiring and are able to get out there and enjoy life. Uh, the go-go years, I said again, the slow-go years and middle retirement. And a no go. We're going to cover each of these stages and the kind of things you're going to run into with regard to expenses, all right, how that's going to change, medical expenses, um, income in retirement, and how to minimize taxes on those, all right, in each of the stages. We'll cover them one by one. But first, we're going to take a break. Join me here. We'll be right back on the Retirement Report. Come to enjoy your golden years.